Back now with the very latest on the pandemic and New York's remaining mask rules will stay in place, at least for now. That's the word from Governor Hochul, despite a federal court ruling this week striking down the national mandate for public transportation. Jessica Formoso joining us now. She has been keeping a track of all the changes. It, it can't be that easy, right? It's changing every second. Lori, that is right. A lot of changes and a lot of confusion. COVID cases across New York State are going up. And Governor Kathy Hochul says that is the reason why New York has decided to still require masks on public transit. On Monday, a federal judge in Florida struck down the CDC's national mask mandate, calling it an overreach by U.S. health officials. But regardless of the ruling, the MTA, TLC, and our local airports in New York still require passengers to mask up. So if you are taking the LA double R, Metro North, a subway, a bus, a yellow cab, or a ride share, you need to wear a face covering. Same goes for JFK and LaGuardia airports. But once you get on a plane, it depends on the airline. This morning, Governor Hochul said she plans on keeping the rule in place a little longer. I'm going to continue in the short term again for public transit, uh, our correctional facilities, our nursing homes, health care settings, domestic violence. You know, that's just, you know, buses and train stations. Let's just be smart about it. You know, I think people do feel better when they're in public transit, sitting really close to somebody, uh, to know that people are, are protecting themselves. And again, this is very much in the short term. The Justice Department is now waiting on the CDC to decide if it wants to fight this battle in court. The DOJ says it is ready to appeal the ruling, but an attorney tells us there is a real gamble involved. If the CDC decides to move forward and loses, it could hinder their powers in the future. If you take this all the way up and you end up with a decision that's contrary to your position, you're then stuck with it as precedent going forward. Here's the problem. Uh, the problem is the mandate was due to expire. And in order for a federal court jurisdiction to maintain, you have to have a present case in controversy. And if, in fact, there is no present case in controversy, the case is moot and the courts won't hear it. So the question is, were they prepared to extend it? Um, and are they prepared to go to court knowing that it's possible at this stage that the next Next level up won't hear it. The CDC says it continues to recommend that people wear masks in all indoor public transportation settings. Laurie? All right, Jessica, thank you. And